this this morning with another of her people you should know people who aren't necessarily famous just special and i suspect this may be the youngest person that we should know you're right. the one that you <laughs> the youngest one you've ever reported i on. think so yeah Mary Rodas is a vice president of a new company in New York, and if her story reminds you of the movie Big, you're right. Except in this story, the heroine doesn't get younger. She didn't have to. When the countries control large areas of territory beyond their borders, we say they have an empire. That Sitting in her eighth grade class at St. Joseph and Michael School in Union City, New Jersey, Mary Rodas looked like an ordinary kid. Pops, I'm on the phone. On the phone at home, with rock music, Nintendo, and homework going on at the same time, she sounds like an ordinary kid. But what ordinary kid gets into a limousine three times a week and goes to work in New York City, studying for her geography test as she goes? And what 14-year-old has an office like this? A title like vice president, and business cards to prove it. CatCo is a toy company, and Mary's job calls on her in a number of ways. She participates in business meetings where she presents the consumer's point of view. The adults just think of what they think. They don't like, sometimes they don't relay how, what kids might think. She meets buyers in English and Spanish. Como esta? Muy bien. She helps develop products, like the recently released Balzac, a balloon with a protective cover. The inventor says that Mary's contribution to Balzac was major. She knew the teenagers uh, were getting very much into fluorescence, and she pushed to have it done in fluorescent colors. She wanted the packaging bright. Uh, she came up with things like uh, putting uh, rice inside to make it like a rattle for children. Now, where did you get an idea like that, to put rice in a balloon? Just to make it unusual. Mary also came up with the unusual idea of putting coins inside the balloon. Say we put the coins here and here, or some in the bottom. It's not going to go straight to the person you're hitting the target at. What's so good about that? Is that you don't know where the ball's going to land. A little mystery. Yep. How do you figure out what kids like? I'm a kid. <laughs> good exercise. And as a kid, Mary has access to other kids. Her classmates often spend recess test marketing Whoa. for Catco. Well, I'm just asking you which do you like the most. The balls are Okay. Mary's career got going when she was about eight years old. Her father is the assistant superintendent in Don Spector's building. And when Mary was in the third grade, Spector gave her a toy to take to school. I remember the incident because when she came back and she said, uh, I said, how did they like the, the product? And they said, well, it really wasn't the right product for my class and age group. So I took it to an older class and they liked it a lot. And that was the first time I realized that she really had a good feel for demographics, even though at that time she certainly didn't know what the word meant. Mary's mother died recently, and her father works long hours. So the toy company and the people who run it have become like a second family. And Mary's efforts for the company do not go unrewarded. Catco is putting Mary through high school, where she's an A student. And they'll pay for her college education, too. In addition, they've given her stocks which she follows each day in the Wall Street Journal. Hey, she did General Electric. Good old General Electric. One, two, three, <laughs> go. Good, 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 good. When she grows up, Mary says she wants to be a psychiatrist. Meanwhile, the demands of life as a toy executive continue. <laughs> Why do you think that, um, that she's hit it off, that Mary's done so well as this little mini mogul? Good question. One reason is that this is not a kid with a self-esteem problem. She is so confident. And where that comes from, I don't know. But this is a child who really knows what she's about. And I, she, it's not that she's arrogant, but she just thinks that she knows what she's talking about. And apparently she does. Well, as she said, you know, how come you know so? Because I'm a kid. <laughs> how did the company come to the decision that, hey, this is a, this is a kid, or that any kid mm -hmm. would be worth taking a risk on. Well, the uh, inventor uh, said he just happened, there she was in her building, and he gave her a, a toy to take to school, and she tried it out, and the way she talked about it was smart, and he had the brains and the sense to pay attention and uh, put her on the payroll. I have a feeling we'll be hearing about this young lady a lot in the future. <laughs> I think so. Betty, thanks a lot.